Hi, today we're playing with the Depco robot, base robot kit that uh, is commonly used in some BattleBot competitions. Uh, it comes with the Spectrum DX60 radio. I find that uh, traditionally, uh, according to the manual, uh, the robot is set up to control each motor with the sticks independently. That's the suggested setup. So the left motor uh, would be controlled by the left stick or the, the throttle control, and the right motor would then be uh, controlled uh, by, the, by the right stick, and this is kind of referred to as the tank setup. Um, and it's, it's how the manual suggests you set it up. It's probably the quickest and easiest way to uh, get moving with this twin motor, twin speed control, uh, the way the kit comes. Uh, the, on the only little uh, setup thing that it entails is to take and reverse the output of one motor on the control. So one motor actually runs opposite direction of the other motor, and that's done um, in the setup of the radio. After we made the setup, um, by reversing one motor um, to, draw it, to drive it forward, I started to think about how I could potentially control both motors with one stick and what that setup would involve. Uh, after doing some YouTube searches, I discovered that what I, w the, the, what I was looking for was actually used by people using twin motors on model aircraft, and it's called differential thrust. And it simply means that uh, they, want, they want to be able to control the left and right motor independently, but when they move the throttle forward, they want to be able to run both motors forward, and in my case, forward and reverse on the throttle. But as I move the rudder, I want it to run one motor hard in a forward direction, and I want the other motor... Uh, to reverse and run in the op or run in the same direction in this case or the opposite direction on the ground and I want the the robot to be able to turn on a dime but I believe this should be achievable using one control so I figured out how to do it and I'll show you that now very first thing I did was I took one motor and I left it hooked to the throttle input or the throttle output of the receiver exactly how the manual suggests but instead of hooking the second motor up to the elevator, I believe as the manual suggests in the initial setup, I moved the secondary motor's output to the auxiliary one. And then over here on the radio, I went into the setup and I scrolled down to the system setup. And I scroll down here to the channel assign part of the menu. And this is critical. Uh, at the RX port assignments, I leave all of these items the same, uh, particularly the ones we're interested in. It's throttle still controls throttle, and auxiliary is still to aux one. But then I move to the next page. And the only thing I changed was I took aux six or aux, aux one on channel six and I bound it to the throttle. And then we go back and we go to the mixing control. Because now what I want to do is I want to mix the motors with the rudder. So we set up two mixes down here. We set up mix one, which is rudder to auxiliary one, and mix two, rudder to throttle. And if we go into these setups, you'll see that in the mix one, rudder to auxiliary, we have a positive value of 125 and another positive value of 125 and I have placed it on 
switch A, which is exactly what this says, and you can see the switch moving back and forth. Move back, and I'll show you what the setup on rudder to throttle. Rudder to throttle, negative 125, negative 125. This is set up on switch A also. So I effectively turn the mixing on whenever I have that switch activated. Without that activated, none of this matters. Back out of this, and we are ready. Now what I need to do is turn the robot up on its side for a second. Activate the switch. And we're stuck. 